Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about tonight is my current favorite outdoor access point. And I want to thank Grandstream for sending this over. Uh, we're going to do a couple videos on this. This is the first one. This is the Grandstream GWN 7630LR. So, you know, I really like the GWN 7630, which is the round AP. Uh, that's for, you know, basically indoors. Well, this LR is the weatherproof outdoor version. So let's take a look at it and then we'll talk a little bit about the specs of the device. So in the box, you are going to get a quick install guide. You get these with all of the Grandstream devices. You get this lovely piece of a styrofoam packing. I'm just kidding about that. You do get that, but okay. Then you get a package of bits and bobs here. You get, um, we've got anchors, wall anchors, screws. Um, and then we've got these little plastic, um, these little rubber gaskets that are gonna go in the bottom of the AP that help keep uh, the weather out from around the cable. So we'll show you that. You get two, count them, two hose clamps. You get the mounting bracket that mounts on the back. So you also, in this little uh, bag of bits and bobs, there's four little black screws in there. And that is what's gonna help us mount this to the AP. Then you get the AP itself, in a little plastic bag, and it is completely uh, weatherproof. Uh, the back of it is, is metal. Um, so this is what the device looks like. So you would have your LED indicator here. On the top, there are two antennas. On the bottom, there are two antennas. On the back is that mount point. And then um, we can remove this access panel on the back right here. So you can see it's got two holes for the, uh, for the cables. That's where those little bladders are going to go. And then we've got a primary PoE port, and this is PoE um, plus or standard PoE. And then we've got that pass-through port and a reset button in there. Uh, also have our FCC information. This is 48 volts half amp. And then probably the most important part is the four antennas. You get uh, four of these rubber ducky omnidirectional antennas. And you can see they are all the same size. So we'll just throw these on here real quick so you can get an idea of what this is going to look like. Now, we are going to, if you follow me on other uh, social outlets, you saw that I posted a picture of a um, Ethernet over power line adapter in my garage. So we are going to be testing this outside. Uh, the next video will be, we'll be testing distance and things like that. Um, and then this is going to become, you know, probably a, a more permanent uh, fixture. Also, one more important thing is there's a grounding lug there. So you can see that with the uh, the antennas on, this is a pretty uh, a pretty intimidating looking uh, piece of kit here. It's fantastic. The next video will actually get it fired up. But real quick, let's go over the specs on this. So um, now every manufacturer does you know they do a combined throughput on the wireless side. So of course, combined throughput on the wireless is like 2.33 gigabit gigabits per second. Are you going to get that? No, you're not. One client is not going to get that. This is 4x4 Mumimo. Um, it is PoE or PoE++. It can have 200 concurrent connected devices. Now that doesn't mean uh, everybody's transmitting data at the same time, but you can have 200 associated devices. It does have up to a 300 meter coverage range. It supports that same QoS for voice and sensitive applications that all of the GWN access points um, support. Uh, you can also, because these antennas 
are replaceable. Um, and the grand stream access points do allow meshing. You could actually put uh, directional antenna on this, Yagi antenna, whatever kind of antenna you wanted, as long as it uh, will screw in, you can replace this with other antennas. So you could potentially use this as a long range client to um, you know, bridge in the network. Uh, and you also get that same built-in controller where this can manage 50 other Grandstream access points. This can act as the controller, or of course we can put it on our uh, GWN manager or we can put it on GWN.cloud. So that's it. I'm really excited about this. In the next video, we're going to hook it up outside. Uh, I'm going to put it on a tripod or maybe I'll uh, build some sort of a mount like we did uh, for other APs, but it's basically going to sit out front for some testing. And then um, I think this is actually going to get mounted out. I'm putting a non-pen uh, uh, roof mount out in the middle of the yard that'll have some solar stuff. And this is probably what we're going to use for our Wi-Fi out there. Um, and then that's going to have our camera where we're capturing the traffic and doing all that analysis. So come back for this. I'll leave an affiliate link to this down uh, in down in the description. Uh, description. So I'm super excited about this. So come back for the setup video. We'll, we're going to replace all of the APs here at the house and in my home office with Grandstream. So that is the next video coming. So I'm very excited. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment, share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a Patreon, that uh, link is down below too. We're going to start offering a once a month uh, Zoom call for all of the pa all the patrons on Patreon. Also, all of our Amazon affiliate links are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. Please come back to see the Grand Stream AP videos. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.